Look out. Fire sale alert. The uh <laughs> the Los Angeles Rams have agreed to trade Jalen Ramsey to the Miami Dolphins for a 2023 third round pick, which is the uh 77th overall pick and tight end Hunter Long. Woo! Where we want to where we want to start with this? Where do we want to start with this? Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and start with the Dolphins, okay? So last year the Dolphins they was ranked what 18th in total defense, 24th in scoring defense, and 27th uh, in pass defense. Big huge upgrade for the Miami Dolphins as far as the secondary uh, on all three levels. The Dolphins they 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 Jalen Ramsey just helps the defense all around. Now. I had a big, huge issue last year with how the Miami Dolphins ran their defense over the last, actually the last couple of years. The Dolphins had to blitz for them to be able to be a good pass defensive team. And it seems like teams are starting to pick their opponents. Teams around the league were starting to catch up to that. And it showed last year with, um, with the firing of the defensive coordinator, we bring in Vic Vic Vangio, the new new defensive coordinator, Hall of Fame defensive coordinator, and hopefully he's going to improve on that. Now, when we look at the Miami Dolphins personnel, you got Christian Wilkins, Jalen Phillips, you got Bradley Chubb, who we end up getting the trade. We got in the trade last year. Um, the secondary, Javon Holland, Brandon Jones, when he comes back, you got Xavier Howard, which hopefully he'll come back healthy, and you have Jalen Ramsey back there. I, I expect a drastic improvement from the Miami Dolphins secondary. Like I won't exp- I don't expect the Miami Dolphins to blitz so much moving forward because we have two perennial pass rushers. If we can't if we can't get pressure on the quarterback with these two perennial pass rushers, I felt like Bradley Chubb was on on the rise when he was with the Denver Broncos anyway. And then Jalen Phillips, he's doing his thing on a consistent basis. I think he led the teams led the team in pressures last year. And then we have two good Pro Bowl corners, which, by the way, uh, Byron Jones will be released. Uh, be, be released when the new league year starts. But um, Jalen Ramsey, four interceptions last year, eighteen pass, eighteen pass, uh, excuse me, twelve pass breakups, three forced fumbles, and two sacks. I always, ha- I always have my concerns about Jalen Ramsey, his ability to get his hands on the football as far as interceptions are concerned because interceptions are critical at you at, at, at changing at changing the, the pace of a game. It's critical. And that's been my biggest issue with Jalen Ramsey. But it's okay, though. You're on the same team with Xavier Howard. Xavier Howard will teach you how to catch. It's all good. He'll teach you how to catch. But – Big good move for the Miami Dolphins. Um, bolster that defense all the way around. We're, Dolphins are already playoff playoff contenders. I'm not going to say Super Bowl contenders as long as we got number one in the center. We don't know what his health status is going to be throughout the season. But great move for the Miami Dolphins defense. I expect the Dolphins defense to be a whole lot better than what it was last year. Now let's look at the Rams because the Rams, like I said, it's a fire sell situation. The Rams was what nine fourteen million dollars over the cap the last time I checked, and then we're gonna sit here and let 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 her Floyd walk. We just we're gonna let Bobby Wagner walk, and then we just made the trade for Jalen Ramsey, which that has been a rumor for quite some time. We just didn't have the right suitor, and I'm 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 starting to realize the reason why the Los Angeles Rams ended up only accepting the third round pick and the Hunter Long, which Hunter Long we'll get to in a second. Uh, the Dolphins basically guaranteed the next two years of his contract. Guaranteed the next two years of his contract. So basically that puts the puts the Rams well, over $26.7 million. For, frees up $26.7 million for the Rams. So it's a win. It's a win. The, the Rams are clearly in a, a rebuilding period at this point. Um, they had to free up some cap space. I expect them to make some more moves. I expect... Uh, Higby, Tyler Higby, him to be him to be shipped out some at some point in time, um, due to how much it'll free up for them. I believe it's like what post June first release. Uh, it's going to be like what six million he could, they could free up if they release Tyler Higby. Hence, why the 
why the J, why the Hunter Long was was involved in the trade, even though he might just be a body. But they have they have a quality backup in Bryson Hopkins. But let me go ahead and get to Hunter Long real quick because the Dolphins ended up drafting him a couple years back, and he was the more he was the more of the combination of the Durham Smythe blocking and the combination also with the with the receiving ability of Mike Gesicki. Unfortunately, Hunter Long didn't end up make, playing for the Miami Dolphins. It's unfortunate, but it's cool with me. We'll we'll compensate. We'll make up for it somewhere else. But it'll be an excellent acquisition for for the Los Angeles Rams. Even though I felt like the Rams should probably involve Tyler Higby and involve him a little bit more into the offense because I feel like he can be a, he can be a, val- a valuable target uh, for the Rams offense as Sean McVay and free up some of the pressure off of of Cooper Cup. But I love this trade, man. I love this trade. Like, oof, watch out for the Miami Dolphins secondary because they're going to put in some work this year for sure. But, oh, this is a beautiful thing. 